literature is one of the opportunities that we have to highlight um, experiences and to be able to create stories of empathy, you know, for our children. Um, stories are an opportunity for our children to see themselves in someone else, right? Just to, to be able to connect with a, com a character and understand that they're not alone. You, typically children or youth are amongst the same age group, often in a school environment, um, gang up on another student. So it could be a one-on-one -on -one or an individual thing. It could be kind of that peer mentality where you have like the mob mentality and groups going against one student. Um, but unfortunately, it usually happens when the, the one child or actually could be a, a certain group um, as well has been outed for a specific reason. Um, and I think it's something that we can all resonate with because perhaps we've always, you know, we've, we've also felt like we've been on the outside. So um, as an example, it could be from things like appearance or perhaps a student has a disability in terms of speech um, patterns or even a physical disability. It could be where the student is from or the language that they speak. Um, and the other thing, so apart from it happening at school, I think now um, we're seeing it also happen online. Um, within online communities and online bullying, um, things that are happening within social media and social media platforms. Um, and unfortunately, this becomes quite scary when you have things like uh, images that stay on the internet forever and, you know, videos going viral. It can be quite traumatic for students. There definitely are examples of um, stories that have focused on bullying. Um, stuff, I, I think especially in the last few years, we're starting to see more and more um, I, I never think that there's enough. Um, I think that, you know, literature is one of the opportunities that we have to highlight um, experiences and to be able to create stories of empathy, you know, for our children. Um, stories are an opportunity for our children to see themselves in someone else, right? Just to, to be able to connect with a, com a character and understand that they're not alone. Yeah, I, I definitely don't think that it is, um, it has been mentioned enough. Um, I was having a look, um, knowing that we were going to have this interview, just in terms of like, what do I have on my bookshelf that's related to the topic of, uh, you know, it's been interesting for me as an author just to think about this topic and to think about my responsibility to, uh, you know, to bring this topic to light. I think that there's more that can be done um, to make sure that our, our youth are being exposed in literature to this topic. I think it's a really good avenue, and I think that it's a really nice way, actually, to get youth involved. So um, I think as far as a campaign is, I, I would love to see something where we appeal to students to write stories about bullying, right? Or to appeal to um, even publishing houses to publish stories of youth. Um, some, you know, we see things like coloring contests or, you know, poster contests and stuff like this. I think that having this topic at the forefront is really important. I think especially now within Turkey, um, I think, you know, it's every, everybody knows about the situation that's been going on in Turkey. We've seen a lot of um, beyond bullying, I would say, but racism, but certainly it's reflecting in bullying within schools. And I think that the only way that we're going to be able to kind of go over that is to, to make sure that our students and our children are educated and we're educating ourselves and we're understanding like that, um, you know, we can't generalize an entire society and, and we can't outcast a whole people just because of actions of a few. Um, it's a behavior that we would never accept, you know, for people looking at the Muslim community or if people, you know, treat the Turkish people that way. It's So I think that it's our responsibility to make sure that we, to do more, um, teach our children these things. Yeah, I think there is definitely, we've seen lots of books come out about um, refugees just in general. Um, but again, I think it's, the, the key message has to be that you know, they're human just like us, like we are all human. Um, and I think that, uh, so for that message, actually I wrote a book, um, it's called um, Manzar Ev, and it's about a child who, um, you know, moved, but they just talk about their experience. And they, at the, at the beginning, you think they're just kind of every other child. Um, and then at the end, you, the, the pictures kind of zoom out and you see that this child actually has far less and their housing situation isn't great and they're, um, clothing situation isn't great and actually that the adventures and things that they've gone on have been you know trying to seek refuge <clears throat> and it's this story about gratitude but it's also a story about how you know like we don't always see things the way they are right at first you just see a child that looks like any other child um, and so I think it's really just about yeah about putting ourselves in other people's positions um, asking questions and just realizing that you know we can be friends with anybody and I think that from a Muslim that beyond, you know, within the message of, of Islam, like the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he said there's no 
difference between a black and a white person and there's no better between like a, an Arab and a non-Arab that, you know, putting people on a neutral f- playing field, like not having tribalism, not having racism, not having bullying is a core, you know, a core part of my religion. Um, and I think, uh, you know, in the religion of most people in Turkey. Um, and I think that's really, really important that we teach our children that. So I think that we really, as authors, we need to be aware of what is going on in the community, what needs people have, um, what topics are going on. Um, so yeah, I think that you know here in Turkey, I think seeing more books about bullying in general is really necessary. Online bullying specifically, I'd like to see more books about that. Um, you know, uh, disabilities and showing, um, you know, trying to show that people's disabilities doesn't make them a target, it can make them unique and it, it, you know, it could also be almost their like superpower in a sense, right? That, um, but understanding people as opposed to dividing people. I think that that's the kind of uh, literature that we're going to need to see. Um, yeah, and I think it's not, uh, it's not just a local problem. Um, I think now for years we've seen like it's, it's a historical problem. If we've seen there's been discrimination among, amongst groups over and over again, you know, that's been targeted of different, you know, Aboriginal groups or the black community or the Latino or Latinx community and then Muslims like and, you know, and then we see it in local communities as well, like discrimination has always been and unfortunately it's a continuous problem. Um, And I think that we have a responsibility as humans to to recognize that and to be working towards a solution. I feel like in the last, you know, 10 to 15 years, I feel like things are slowly starting to change. I feel like, um, especially with the youth things, you know, we're starting to wake up a little bit. Um, The power of the media, uh, you know, stories being told, storytelling is such an important aspect. So in terms of discrimination being disseminated, I think like, and, and, you know, being wiped out, I think we really need to, um, yes, I think the arts are gonna play a huge part. So storytelling within books, but then also storytelling within film, within art communities, I think that's really gonna be a key aspect. Um, but not just that, I think that showcasing those voices is going to be huge, right? It is huge. Like, I think that we need to make sure that we are allowing the people who are facing those discri- that discrimination um, to have their voices, their stories be told. Um, so showcasing uh, in literature, we call it own voice literature. So stories that have been written or been told by the people who are experiencing um, discrimination uh, war, whatever it may be, right? So we shouldn't have, just like we, you know, as a Muslim, I wouldn't want a non-Muslim to talk about my experience. Um, a white shirt person shouldn't be writing about the black experience. And, you know, like a non-Arab shouldn't write about the Arab experience and, and, and all these things. So showcasing own voice stories um, and using the arts across all fields, you know, across all forms of media uh, is gonna be really important in terms of, um, you know, breaking discrimination. Thank you.